Good morning, you guys. Look at this sunrise. Um, so I am getting ready to go SCAD. Today is my move-in day, and I'm gonna take you with me. So, let's go. I'm here in the dorm and I moved all my stuff in. Now I just have to organize it. Basically, it comes like this. This is going to be my roommate's side, um, but she's not here yet, so I'll show it. And it's a bed, a desk, a view. And this is really nice. It's an automatic sensor, so it turns on when you just like move your hand there. And there's a nice little whiteboard. I think you can use this like a cork board. And here's the chair. And then these are the dressers that it comes with. And there's a lot of room in them. Here's the common space. It's got some couches some tables and it comes with a fridge and I brought the microwave so I finished setting everything up in the room and basically there's a ton of space in here so I have my bed and a couple blankets my jacket and I'm gonna hang this up later on the wall but I need command strips and these have so much room in them and then I have my dresser clothes and then a laundry basket and extra bags. Here's the bathroom and there's a separate room for the bathroom and the shower. Here's my stuff. Here's me. So outside of our dorm we have this view of the SCAD building. And it's another workspace right here, so you can just come and put your stuff and do your work. So that was one side of the building where we looked at SCAD. And here's the other side. My favorite part so far. Oh, wow. That's the old dorm building right there. Do you guys want to go up to the top? Yeah. We're going to run out of time. We're gonna go to the twelfth floor. That's the Mercedes-Benz Stadium over there, and the building with the guy yeah. on it. Oh yeah, there's Buckhead. Oh, that's so pretty. There is a an underpass that goes underneath this highway and straight to the SCAD building, so we can walk safely under the highway. So here's the stairwell. Look at this. Look at that. This is the 13th floor that is still under construction. There's a zebra. The door is locked, but this is a balcony. And this is the space that's going to be used for like events and stuff. I think they're gonna be renting it out to different people. Um, it has a separate button on the elevator. E, it's floor E, 13. And it's really, really cool. I am totally not supposed to be here. So I'm gonna leave. Just imagine this view at night. Super cool. on floor one. It's really cool. There's chairs and tables and little couches to sit on. Plus, something really fun, you can spy on people. All right, so on our way out, we're gonna go check out the coffee bar. 
it's on the ground floor. I have been looking for you. It's gonna echo a lot. So we took the underpass to get to the garage, which is right on campus. And I think the underpass is really safe, so. I checked in at the dorm. I moved in everything, which is crazy. And now I have orientation session. It's 11.30, and so I gotta get in there. Um, I went to Prelude a couple weeks ago, which is just like pre-orientation, so like orientation for orientation, and so I didn't need to go to the one I just went to, but I went anyway. So, so now I'm back in the room, and I'm just going to hang out until I'm needed tonight. Look at all this stuff that's going on outside. So while I'm back at the dorm, I'll show you guys the homework assignment. Basically, we get a pre-quarter assignment that is just a small assignment that starts at the beginning of the quarter. I got it. I got all of my classes pre-quarter assignments a few days ago, so I had about a week to prepare. So I'll show you my drawing pre-quarter assignment. So I had to go and pick out this huge paper pad from the bookstore because I didn't have one this big. The first quarter assignment was to draw an apple. It's like almost the size of my head. And so it was pretty easy. It took about 45 minutes because I was taking my time and listening to music and eating fruit. Surprisingly not an apple. But yeah, it's pretty simple. My other pre-quarter assignments were for design and communications and I just typed up a few things and printed it out and I'll bring it to the first class. If I'm honest, I am ready for some pretty tough work. I'm ready to stay up late some nights trying to get drawings done. I'm ready for it. Bring it, Scad. Other than a mandatory hall meeting tonight at 7, I am free for the rest of the afternoon. I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to take the stairs up to level 10. So I came up to draw Buckhead. It's this. I like the city a lot, so I'm gonna draw it. Now I have to run back downstairs to my floor for our mandatory hall meeting. Um, I gotta go do that now. Bye. I didn't vlog any more after our hall meeting last night, but basically in the hall meeting we just got to know kind of who was on our floor and all of the RAs. Um, and then this morning we had another orientation type thing at 9, and I think we have another one tomorrow at 3 on Sunday. It's been a crazy weekend, kind of just like getting used to the fact that I am here in Atlanta. And I know there aren't many SCAD Atlanta vlogs, so I'm hoping this will help answer some questions. And if you have any more questions, um, comment below and maybe I can answer them in my next vlog because there will probably be a next. Bye.